hey beautiful your favorite little keto goofball diamond if not subscribe I will be one day today is day 1280 1280 or 81 I think of my ketogenic journey going from 311 pounds 30 medically diagnosed diseases to where I sit today and I'll be right back to tell you all about where I sit today with a chit chatting away and if you were following yesterday you'll know that I gained 5.2 pounds on my granddaughter's birthday from various incidents so uh, let's find out what I weigh today if I'm smiling or if I'm not I'm always smiling whether I want to be or not but anyway it don't matter it's time y'all to rant, rave, and misbehave, Keto Diamond style. It is mighty bright out here. Show sure enough is. So yesterday, um, man, that scale, hoo, 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 it even shocked me. But from a major cheat to missing my water pill to getting a lack of sleep, PMS day one, I put on 5.2 pounds of water weight in 24 hours, and it was rough. My body was mad at me. Ooh, it hurt. I was stiff, sore, swollen, just not good I, I mean I'm, st I'm sure I, I am still somewhat but I got rid of some of the water anyway quite a bit of it actually and I'm very very thrilled about that uh, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure some of this achiness is one thing I've also been telling you guys for the last uh, maybe week or so now that I've been waking up with this arm just numb as hell and I'm set up and kind of moving around and it hurts and it's from kind of an injury I know there's an injury right in this area somewhere um, and also the way I sleep with my hand up under my face or I curl it up underneath my body and I've been using a big thick body pillow folded in half so it's great big and thick to rest my arm on so that that wouldn't happen quite as much well last night oddly enough it didn't happen and I get up and read a comment this morning from a lady who says she's been experiencing that and found out that by taking magnesium and drinking more fluid it doesn't happen to her anymore Here's the funny thing. Again, it didn't happen to me last night. Yesterday, I made a point to get more water in. And I did quite well. I, I didn't get no 100 ounces or nothing like that. But I did drink um, four, maybe five bottles of the 10 ounces of water. Plus, I had a cup of water at Wendy's with my meal, which I'll show you with my meals and everything in a minute. So, that might be a very big thing for me. It may be dehydration. I've known for a little while that I've been becoming dehydrated my lips are chapped my fingers they still look very pruney like I've been soaking them in water so it's like if you've been in a bathtub for a long time and your fingers look pruney that is a sign of dehydration I don't know how well you can see it in the camera but um, it's, it's definitely a thing it's on both my hands and I can I can tell um, just by how dry my mouth is staying and I guess I'm just simply not drinking enough fluid, plus I've heard that, that coffee, or maybe it's the caffeine, is very dehydrating. So, yeah, I'm trying to up my fluid intake. I really am. I haven't put a whole lot of stock into that, but I do know that in the past, when I up my fluid intake, I was able to come up with my blood pressure pills, which over time I had to go back on. So, maybe it's a fluid thing. It could be simply dehydration, and it's funny to say you're dehydrated when you know you're holding 10 to 15 pounds of fluid retention. So it's just not in the right spot. I can't get this, this fan right today. Um, with the windows up, it's quite hot. With them down, it's quite cold. So you either need the, uh, the uh, heat or the AC. And now I'm cold, but if I turn it off, I'll be hot. But we did put some antifreeze in it and fix the heater problem. Um, and the other day, I didn't have a speck, of, a, a speck of heat in here. And it was really irritating because the best thing about the van is how hot and cold the thingy -ma bob works, okay? Heat and everything works. That's the best thing about it. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, got some antifreeze, let it run for about 20, I actually let it run for about 30 minutes. I was going to let it run for about 10 and give it a chance to get all worked in there, but I forgot it was running and I ran out on my gas almost. So, I had to run straight to the um, gas station. Alright, so, yesterday's day of eating, I was very, very hardcore on point 
went with hubby he had french fries and i was not going to touch one and i did not touch one i was proud of me because usually i'll be like well it's just one maybe it's just three or he left a couple in the bottom of my bag and I, I do think that's been messing me up it's not the only thing that's been messing me up but it is one of many things little tiny things little excuses that i've been doing that's really set me back and been holding me back along with trying various keto products along with uh cheat meals on occasion or treat meals on occasion whatever you want to call them these things have been messing me up and i know that and it's been well over a year that they've been messing me up first year of my keto journey hardcore keto baby nothing doing what gonna cheat not very much anyway i think i have one or two but nothing like I've, I've let it turn into and it is what they refer to as a slippery slope so if you're going to do it realize it's not easy to bounce back from and even if you think you're bouncing back from it if you're doing it occasionally you're really not now i'm not saying you can never ever have another piece of pizza or never ever have some birthday cake i'm saying you have to use better judgment than what I have used over the last year or so. So, I am gonna try this month to be hardcore strict keto. Now, that I, I am going to include certain things in my diet. I'm not gonna cut out fast food because that's very difficult for me, especially given my situation with uh, being at work all day long and the only thing close by being fast food. Now, yes, I could take a salad or something like that with me, but let's face it, I'm not gonna. I should, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I do have some keto treats in our work bag and I say our work bag because me and my husband and son just take one nice size bag with everything in it because we work at the same place. Um, I say I'm a lot, sorry. I know that's not professional sounding, but nothing I really do is. And I'm sorry about this road, it's extremely bumpy, but it's the road I live on so it's, you know, just kind of one of those rock with it things. I thought my shoes had came in today, got a thing from Shoe Show uh, in and um, they couldn't fit in the mailbox, so they left a little tag. So I went all the way to the post office to get it. No, my, apparently my dad has ordered some shoes. They're for my daddy. I was like, I've never in my life seen that man order a pair of shoes. But hey, if it works, it works. What's going on with my hair? I've got like this weird part thing happening. Whatever. Um, anyway, I did really well with keto yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up for a minute. Show you my way in and be right back to talk about it. And plus what I ate yesterday. Those Keto Bark Bars, I do believe, are 100% keto friendly. I think I showed y'all where I ate two of them. I, I believe I ate three. And I shouldn't really eat three. For one, they're kind of expensive to be doing like that. But for two, I don't really need three. But I did it. So that is part of my confession for the day. But here's all of that plus my way in. For guess where we're eating at. That's right, Wendy's. I've got a triple baconator, no bun. I did down a 10 ounce bottle of water in the car and I got water with my uh, sandwich or non-sandwich. I'm starving. It's an 18 hour fast at 1 p.m. So this is actually the big fellas in the shipping department's fault over at my job. See, all they talk about is pork chops and collard greens and hot wings and collard greens. So I made some pork chops and collard greens. Of course, they're heavily seasoned and they're um, it's primal organic sugar-free steak sauce. Chalk zero bar after um, my breakfast meal and one after dinner. Sorry, it's kind of dark, but I'm having a fat chicken and cheese roll. <laughs> 171.6. I can feel every ounce of that fluid. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm staying awake yet or not, but I'm going to go ahead and weigh in just to be sure. All right, 188.8, that is down anyway, so that's good. She's been bashing him over the head. <laughs> 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 Hi, <laughs> not sure why, but for the last 10 minutes or so, he's just been sitting there with a bottle of water in his mouth. Not really drinking it. Just chilling with it. Hey, Zach. Show me your new haircut. Trapping. Show me your haircut. You look kind of... Yeah. And I'm playing Mm-hmm. Talk to you. I got you. <laughs> oh, let's eat this rest. Oh, let's eat this rest. 
if we're gonna, if we're gonna... Ooh, y'all. 2.8 pounds of water weight gone. Thank heavens, because I'm telling you, I, I still feel heavy, though. But not like I did yesterday. Yesterday morning, I could barely bend my fingers. My rings wouldn't fit at all. Um, I, it was rough. I felt rough. It was in every, every ounce of me. I could feel it. My shoes were tight. Everything. This is going to be the bumpy part, guys. This is my driveway, which maybe one of these many, many years from now, I will be able to get paved. Although I don't know if we can, because technically we share it, and I don't know if I can keep other people off of it, even if I ask them. Although it would benefit us all for this to be paid. So at one point I might talk to the neighbors about it. Um, oh, that's right. Destiny took that to get a haircut. It scratched the van. I gotta get something and trim those little side things down. Um, okay, so I did great yesterday. I'm super happy with that. I'm super proud with that. Um, I've done great so far today. I even went and got some chicken and herb um, sausages instead of like regular sausages or the better with cheddars. Some of these have maltodextrin in them. I'm trying to get away from it, get a little better with my diet. I was so good the first year and then I just kind of kept slipping and sliding. And like I said, it's like, it's like a slip and slide. You might be able to walk down it, but you might fall and bust your ass. You never know. <laughs> um, so, wow, yeah, I'm going to go take my daddy's shoes. And hopefully, Corey will weigh in with us in a little bit. Again, yesterday, she she did pretty good. She was 287 point something. I don't know where her lowest is right now. I've forgotten, but it's hard to keep up with somebody else's. So, hopefully, hopefully, here's Corey. Here's Corey. Today, I weighed in at um, 287.4, which is up 0.2 from yesterday. I only ate twice all day yesterday. Like, that's it. Tell me what you ate. I had a triple uh, Baconator. Uh, no bun. No bun. Probably and one of those Quest pizzas. Oh, okay. uh, you had the whole Quest pizza? <laughs> See, I've been up in the air with the Quest pizzas. I'm not sure. I, I think every time I ate a half one, I went down. But every time I ate a whole one, I went up. Well, it was all I ate all day yesterday, though. Yeah, those and it things. should be fine, but I don't know that it is. So maybe, like, next time you eat only two things and it's one of those, see if you go up or down. Just, my dad found my arrow from the other day. I just saw it again. I need to put that up before it gets broken. Took long enough to find that thing. Yeah, I'm telling it's you. It took like what, legit a week? Might have been longer. Two. Than yeah, probably. I don't think I shot last week. I'm hurt. Um, it's better than a G7, but I don't know if it's better than a hammer. I bet he was looking for it so he could mow at some point. Yeah. Anything or get else? ready for mowing. Anything new you've noticed? No. No? No. I guess we really ain't got much for you today then. Um, they're about to go off and do a few things. Anthony has a, a dentist appointment tomorrow, poor baby. He's got some issues with his front teeth and I think he's been drinking a little bit too much sugar for too long. So it was more like he had his bottle itself for too long because if he, babies when they use their bottles for too long, like the baby bottles, not sippy cups, it will start to make their teeth rot. Right, and his front it, It's teeth always are... just these front ones right in this area that will rot, too. His bottom ones look perfectly healthy and clean, but I noticed one day, and I thought maybe he had fallen and broken his teeth the way they looked, and and no, I, I think it well, it was rotted out by his bottle. Now, he didn't have formula that whole time, but like he different would have juices like, and stuff like that. Yeah, Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid right. at the time, especially. Right. Once we saw that, we stopped giving him Kool-Aid. He doesn't drink Kool-Aid at all anymore. Right. Um, he does get, well, I guess he does get Kool-Aid occasionally, but not much. It's right. very rare. So um, mostly he drinks it here with me with uh, my water and my drinks, but... We uh, don't give him sugar. sodas yeah. because, I mean, he gets a sip of soda here and there from, yeah, like, you, but... Right, but mine's non-sugar, so... It's sugar-free. Right. But it's, a, for that, it wasn't really about the sugar once we stopped giving him the sodas because, you know, all my soda is all sugar-free, too. Yeah. Um, it's just, it was more like the caffeine. So we did make a dentist appointment for tomorrow. Little Miss is too chicken to talk on the phone. I don't know why kids like that. Y'all are so used to having a phone in your hand all the time, but can't call and make an appointment. What is it with kids? I don't get it. Anxiety. Anxiety. You be say, hey, can I make a dentist appointment? I don't know. You. I don't give a shit if you like me or not. I mean, you know, you, there, there's, I don't see the anxiety about making a phone it's call to a person just talking to people know. you don't know. I mean, maybe if you have to call a friend and apologize for being an ass or something, I could see that kind of anxiety, but I can't see it as, as far as just calling to make a dentist appointment or something. it's just how it is. I get anxiety when my phone rings because it's either a telemarketer or my mom about to say some stuff that just makes your head go, what the hell, mom? But 
there's some stuff going on there lately. I tell you, but it's, it, I'm not. It's not even drama. It's just weirdness, crazy weirdness. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk more about that one day, but not right now. Hopefully, it'll go away, but I don't think it's going to. Uh, but, guys and dolls, if you need my help with your ketogenic oh, yeah, journey, my yeah. contact information is in the description below. Visit ketodiamond.com or check the front of this channel for a playlist of how-to for beginners. And there are many great... There are many ways. great links in the description below that you can check out to support the channel. Maybe if you have to do the spiel, you won't be yawning. <laughs> There are some great ways to support the channel below, and you can get you a Keto Mojo for 15% off, or look down below for a Teespring's link and get you a t-shirt that says something like, Rant, Rave, and Misbehave Keto Diamond Style, or um, Make Your Next Meal Keto, or Keto Army, or whatever. Check out the t-shirts that I've designed. I even designed some masks, although my, don't my sense of humor... forget about the Shoshka bracelets. My sense of humor is not like everybody else's, so y'all might not like them, but hey. <laughs> um, and so Shoshka bracelets for 15 percent off. Uh, protein and powder stuff. Or gay! <laughs> Especially that chocolate taste just like a, uh, what is it, a chocolate frosty? Oh my god. I would like to have that just for that, but I really don't need that much extra protein. Bear! That dog can lock doors, he can open doors. That dog is the reason I had to change my doorknob. Um, because he opened my door and let the big dog out. Okay, so anyway, much love, many prayers. Bye!